What up, YouTube? We uh we're back at the shop today, trying to uh get some work done, man. So uh I've been getting like a lot of uh not even messages, like comments on people trying to get bikes out of the auction. My boy, everything's regular, has a whole YouTube video on how to get anything out of Copart. You can show you how to bid on it and anything of that sort. Now with the budget, it all depends on what you're going for, how it is, and the condition. To me, in my eyes, basically on the price of what you're gonna get with the Harleys out of the auction. And by that, I like this bike. When I got this from the auction before I sold it to the new owner, I got this from Vegas uh, auction and it had no bags. Like the bags were gone. Back fender was completely damaged. So the whole back end was gone. Uh, we just took the old fairing off. I have the old fairing up over there, inner and outer. We just, I showed you guys the crash fender yesterday, so that was some damage. Also, even the back wheel, that's not the original one. I have the original one I took off and I got it from the auction right here. Smashed up, you see the damage? The fender, like, in the back rim, I don't know what hit them, but that's also what caused, like, uh, the pipes right here that's why one had fell off so he got to get a whole new pipe but moral of the story is this bike didn't come looking like this we put some work in it ain't even fully done yet but it didn't look this presentable we have to put some work in it had a lot of things missing but that's how i got it from the auction knowing that you know and let's go to this one this road king you guys go back to my story when i pick i said my story if you go back to my videos on youtube when i got this from utah this bike was cool handlebars was bent uh front fender was damaged uh what else it had one bag no key it has some stuff but i'm just showing you guys the type of differences these bikes will come and like uh like this bike this came from auction not through me though this came from my friend but the guy we got it through this came running and driving like had any type of damage because fair and clean this is not repeating this is original fair and front fender he got the bags and everything else for it so i don't even know what was the damage on this bike so that's what i mean you don't know what you're in for until you really see it in person and with that being said that's why me and my boys both bounce around from like iai or copart because he feel like copart is better i feel like iai is better but you gotta agree to disagree everybody got their own thing but like i was saying each auction show you different things and each auction come with bikes different ways some will show you better pictures, some you won't see no damage. Like when I got this from the auction, uh, what damage is had? I didn't see any fairing damage. I didn't see that. I didn't see any tailpipe damage. I seen the uh, rear fender damage, so the tailpipe should have been expected, but just you gotta keep a heads up, you know? That's all I'm saying. But yeah, anyway, man, I'm trying to, um, trying to get some new inventory here ASAP. My thing is when I get bikes out of the auction, I wanna try to make sure I can kind of cover everything like if I get something like a Harley, I want to make sure it's not too far. I can pick it up with my truck and go grab it. I drove before to like Montana and I picked up one of like the third bikes I just sold, uh, 2006 Road King. That was six states away. I drove my truck straight out there, went and picked that up. So right now I'm trying to get some new stuff in so I can keep the cycle going. But in the meantime, between time, I'm about to build these bikes. So today we're going to, uh, we're going to finish these clutches up. We're going to, uh, finish assembling this head and basically um, get everything going. We gotta go finish taking off a couple of little more chrome things. Take that with this whole tray of chrome stuff I wanna get powder coated for this bike. So we gonna do that. Also, I'm about to um, start either taking apart this motor or I'm gonna throw it on here like this. I've been bouncing around with that, but we're about to get this for show accomplished today cause I gotta make some progress. This thing been sitting here and I'm tired of it getting dusty. I've been wiping it down a lot, but it's coming little by little, man. And on another note, we finally went and picked up this rim. We are finally in the game. We're about to detail the hell out of this bike. The wheel hub isn't the exact same orange, but the fact that he did it somewhere near is even better because he didn't have to do that. He could have gave it to me silver. So thank you, Rich, for Medieval Wheels. I appreciate you and your business, my brother. You did a hell of a job. No one does this shit like him. Anybody in LA knows, no one. This is my old hub. Rip the boats. I have some baby ass boats. These nice new thick boats he put is way better. Way better, man. 
them things are way better than this. But yeah, we're gonna uh we're gonna get this going today, man. We also gotta go pick up the powder coated black parts for this. We we're supposed to get yesterday, but time got ahead of us, so about to grab those parts, throw the rim on, get this going. Let's start assembling that. Same time, about to keep assembling this, and we about to get baby right for the streets. As bad as I wanna do everything I did to this bike, like the color washers, then you got the diamond cut, powder coat, got the little PM parts, color washers. It's lovely, I love it. It's looking good, but I just know with this new motor, for sure, I'm gonna take it apart and make it faster. So it's like, why spend 2000 color and making everything look good just to take it all off and get a whole new set and put it on like a couple of months later. So I'm gonna leave it, do my thing. I do my own work, so it's no problem. I can always take my motor off at any moment, given time. I can put the whole bike together right now and go ride it literally right now and take it back apart next week because I do my own work. That's what I can do, type of things that you can do when you're doing it, you know? But yeah, we're about to, um, about to get this day going. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get this work in, man. This is the Milwaukee 8. So I just took off the little, uh, the bracket that basically holds the oil line on here with the engine in front of the uh, Milwaukee 8. So basically I'm about to um, I'm about to pop these lines off, pop these uh, oil lines off and go right here to the back in the uh, motor. So what I'm gonna do is pop that off, take the horn off, fuel injectors, intake, throttle body off. Once I do that, I'm gonna take the top covers off, take the trays off, slide the push rods out, and then I'm gonna take the heads off, take them to the shop to get powder coated, take all this chrome to get powder coated, then, I'm gonna try to sit the motor onto the frame today. I'm gonna have to take the blue bike off the jack and put the back rim on that bike and use this jack. So the one that's over there that stays up can keep this bike up. This one will let down, but at least if it let down, it'll have the kickstand and two wheels. So that's what we about to do. We finally got the rocker box off. Not the rocker box, we got the covers off. That's it. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that and just put it on there. So we're gonna put this on this jack. We finally got this thing on both wheels. Got this thing looking beautiful, man. Got it on both wheels, so that's amazing. Put the paint to the back so none will get scratched up. So um, I'm about to put this on the jack so we can get this motor on here and get everything going. So stay tuned. So I have to um, deduct some parts off the bike just so I wouldn't mess up anything so I'll put everything over there to the side. But uh, yeah, we're about to get this motor on here after I put the frame. Wait on my boy to pull up after my, my boy. Put the bike onto the jack. We're gonna put the motor onto here after that. I'm gonna just cover up everything so nothing gets scratched up or nothing. If not, I swear to y'all, I will take this motor back off and get this frame repowder coated. I'm not trying to go through all of that stuff like I went through with that last bike. I'm trying to just take my time but we coming man see it so we got the motor halfway on there i had uh my people just come and help me he had to go it's only for like a quick five minutes but look what we got done in five minutes it looks crazy but all i'm about to do is shove it over it's the process of illumination without trying to mess up stuff man this came off gotta cover that back but we coming along man stay tuned y'all so after like a good 20 minutes since my boy left, it took me some time to do it by myself because of weight, but I got it done still. So that's the main thing that matters. We on the road, we still got it going and we got our goal complete. And you see right there, we got the motor back on the frame. Back on that joint, man. So we coming together. Now we're about to strip all this off, get this powder coated. I'm leaving this, I'm leaving this because I'm gonna go bigger motor down the line. So I'm gonna powder coat these little pieces, put the uh, swing arm bolts right into the back of the trans, put that on there. I'm about to get everything going, man. Take all my, uh, where's my parts at? 
I'm gonna take my extra parts that I have to powder coat. We're gonna take the cam cover off, trans cover, top trans cover. We get all that powder coated, but as you can see, we got the main thing done that I wanted, man. Got that motor back on that joint, literally. So now we gotta get the wheels and we gotta start disassembling this paint. So that way I can go take this to the paint shop Get my parts. It's so crazy my boy did this great, let me tell y'all, because my original colors for my bike was blue, green, and yellow. And the blue that it came out was not that blue. Just like this bike, the wrong blue. The blue I wanted was like a powder blue, that, uh, no, powder blue, green, and yellow. So after that, to where I am now today, I was like, you know what, I should go gray, but this was before my boy did it. Now that he got his bike gray, I don't even want it, but even right here, just look at both of these pieces together. These colors look so good. Like, even if he threw some blue onto his bike, like the blue crash bar, all that little stuff would make a big difference. That's why I try to tell people, put some details into your bike, man. It ain't gonna kill you. Everybody not pulling up with washers and, you know, it's just little stuff, man. You wanna just pull up and have your bike different, separated from the next person. And that's what it's all about. That's what we doing. I could have been rode this bike and kept it like it was all black, but that wasn't satisfying to me. When I pull up, you can tell if this is my bike or anybody bike, and I don't want anybody approaching my bike thinking it's theirs. So we cleaned that up real fast, as you can see. Got that motor on there, man. About to get it going, man. So stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned, working, getting it done. So we finally got the motor completely on there. It took me like literally some time trying to get that motor mount in and this bottom one. I had a few little incidents to where like this got shit. Just like, I don't know. So you gotta really take your time and make sure whoever helping you taking any time. But it don't even matter because all this stuff will be covered up. I just wanted the frame powder coated yellow, clean, but like, I got the other piece that covered this up, so that little chip ain't nothing, I'm not tripping. But all of this, I'm gonna get repowder coated. I'm gonna get all this blacked out. I just want it on here for now. I don't wanna put the motor on the frame with no heads and it'd be difficult, cause it's like tight. And this motor is different than the twin cams. It's a lot more stuff you gotta do inside. So I wanted to just help myself out by leaving that together instead of trying to reassemble it like this with no space. But as you can see, we got this thing on here. All I'm gonna do now is powder coat my pieces, get my legs painted, put the legs back on there. Once we get the legs, my uh, wheels should be coming in the mail any day now. I'm gonna pop them pieces off, get those done. So we're making some progress. We're gonna just take the paint to the paint shop. We got back there, drop that off, get the powder coat, and we should be rolling. Just gotta um, get my seat done. But you see it, man, we coming. We done made some progress today. Got that thing looking good. That thing looking good. And we got the other baby looking good. We didn't get to get the powder coat. We're gonna grab them tomorrow morning though. But we got the wheels back on this thing. Got this thing looking beautiful. Road Glide looking good. And the Road King looking amazing. Everything nice, clean. So yeah, man, about to call it a day. Been in here since like eight this morning trying to get some stuff done, but we didn't make some progress. So we about to slide, get on up out of here, get some work done. We got a trip this weekend we about to go do. So stay tuned for that. I will say we will be in the snow. So stay tuned to check that out. So I'm finally about to uh, slide out. It seems like it take me more time just to clean up and get ready to leave than even working on a bike. Trying to get everything clean. I don't want stuff looking cluttered up when I come back everywhere. I have to just, I'm leaving them parts there so I can get back to that when I get back, but I had to clean up all this, man. Got all this free space now. It was just too dirty for me, man. But it's much better. I always want to keep at least space to where a bike can roll right in and get to the back. But we got today's progress done. Got that thing finally on there. It's dirty from the fingerprints, but we're gonna clean it up. Clean that thing up. 
But yeah, man, y'all like what y'all seeing, man. Tell y'all people to subscribe. You subscribe, cut on your post notifications. Stay tuned, because we got a lot more coming just like this. This is only the beginning, literally. Only the beginning.